All right, YouTube. Today we're gonna to be taking, or uh, in this ebook breakdown, we're gonna be taking a look at the single back doubles, one of my favorite formations in the game. And let's talk about it. Uh, basically, the beauty of this formation is that it's essentially the shotgun doubles, which all down uh, into a running set. Now let's go over the uh, base play. The base play is the play action slot crosses. So let me get to that real quick. It's the R1 audible. Now we can do a lot from this uh, play here. What I like to do is I like to put the uh, far right receiver on a smart routed out route. I like to put my running back on a flat route to the right or swing route to the right. And basically what my first read on this play is is what's going on on that side of the field. Okay, so they're cover four and I can easily just take my flat route. And that's the beauty of this formation is that it allows you to basically you can take what the defense gives you. Okay, and uh, so here, uh, play action slot crosses, the beauty of this play is if it's like cover four, say I want to take that, you see how that route gets in behind the middle linebacker. So we have those couple reads, but again, the main read is can you throw an out or a comeback to the right side of the field. Late, uh, a late read on this play. Uh, is you could leave the PA and then look to see if that slot gets in behind. This play is not going to get called but maybe one or two times a game. This is a, uh, a strictly mix-up play. Now one thing I do want to discuss is a quick little trick I like to do. This is actually from Kilo over at Madden. Um, I think he works for, he, I think he just works for himself, but uh, his kilo'scorner.com is his website. And what he likes to do out of these slot crosses, I don't know if this is the actual play he does it from, but he'll motion over, and I caught on to this, and basically it creates a pick play. So we still run our crawl flat, but now we have this. And it's a man beater. You see they get lost in translation. You can easily throw that route to the outside. Now the beauty of that is we could, in theory, when we motion over, we get audible into our wide trips uh, from single back, which, uh, that's the Z spot, I think it's the square, or it's this triangle audible, and we're going to flip it. So we're going to hit triangle and R2 at the same time, and now you see, bam, right into our Y trips, and then we just go. So that's the beauty of this scheme, is the, easy, the ease at which we can transition our plays. Now, obviously, I don't run this play action slot cross as much. Uh, the last read on this play is this deep post that will be uh, almost every coverage in the game, but it takes a long time for it to get over. Okay. The beauty of this play also is if you see them pressing up in the box, we actually went over this already, but if, we're, if they're based on pressing, we can play action and just bomb them deep. You gotta get, gotta, gotta get a better play action there, but you know, the inside zone run when we have numbers, as you see, six on six, check down into that. You see, you get that double team on the center. It's going to be a really effective run. You're going to want to use that run to establish what you want to do. Okay? See, inside zone, just bam, bam, you just truck all through. And the beauty of this play is if we want to, we can motion wide receiver number four, our slot, over. Now, if he goes with him, we're just going to playmaker the run back to the left side and go. And the cool part is, the inside zone, you can cut it. You can cut it back, you can cut it out, you can cut it straight down the middle, whatever you want. And then we can always snap in the, in the gap here, give us an extra blocker. And the beauty of this is, once again, audibly to our other formation. We can just come out, motion across. Once he gets across, we can easily motion, or excuse me, audible into our, uh, I think it's the L1 audible, into our single back wide trips, and we have a Z spot from here. And now we're just still working the same concepts, just from a different formation. The beauty of this formation, guys. Now let's get into some of our main core passing plays. Our, our quick pass audible is curl flats, or curls HB angle. And it's basically just curl flats. So it's just a simple read. A lot of times, you'll be able to hit these snap throw flat routes. And just snap throw the flat routes against uh, off coverage. Off coverage only. Do not throw these flat routes against man. Do not throw them against cover two. Do not throw them against cover three. But against cover four and off coverage or zone blitzes, which you're going to see a lot of, throw these flat routes. Here's cover four. You just throw the flat routes. It's an easy 10 to 15 yards. Easy. 
So that's what we're doing with that play. Uh, not very complicated. We've we've seen it before. Like I said, if they're in cover three, uh, then the out route should be wide open. Here you're going to see out route to left, wide open. If they're in cover two, say they go to cover two. Now this is where it gets dicey. Uh, you're going to see that those out routes are covered. So we just check down into the Texas route. Force them to adjust, guys. This, this play will be every coverage in the game. Let's show, let's show it against um, cover three. Or not cover three, but um, cover, uh, cover two man under. So two man under here. My hot routes in. You're going to see against man, out routes are open. Can't stop. Cannot stop out routes in man cover. So, very effective man read there. The next play that I want to discuss is the deep pass, and it's my level. It's the levels play. All I do with this play, the only hot route I make on this whole play, uh, circle on a comeback, and uh, sometimes I'll put the running back on a swing pass, but normally I leave him on that block. Noise. The first read on this play is if they're if uh, if that slot receiver gets pressed or not. You're gonna see here he doesn't get pressed, so I wait and then for, then deliver the ball to square. But what you're also going to see is in a cover three scenario, he's going to get pressed. Uh, the slot will be. That's why he's my first read. If he gets pressed, just throw the ball to square. Don't even look at him. Just throw it. It's going to be open. Promise. Promise. There's nothing to do about it. Unless they, I mean, they're going to have to do some serious adjusting. Uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, you're not going to see that. So if he gets pressed, you want to look to square, if square, and there, there normally will no, be nobody in his, on his radar. So that's an easy read to make. Now, cover two or cover four scenario. So cover four, usually they'll go down uh, and cover that so you can fit in the levels and behind it. That's the key to levels. That's what it is. It's its own reading concept. Now, what about cover two? Cover two is the same exact thing. And normally, the underneath, whoops, threw it a little too early there. The, you you want to wait a little. You got to wait a little bit for the for this play. That's why I recommend coming out the gun first and then checking into this play because a lot of time you beat the blitz and then they start going to cover you and then they start going to cover you. So here, cover two. Wait, 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 wait. Then he comes up. Then he throws. It takes a little bit for it to develop. What about uh, two men under? I say cover two does the best job against this. By the way, so cover two man under. Your tight end will run a post route, and you're just going to pass lead that to the inside, and you don't even have to click on. It's going to be an automatic. He'll step in front of that guy every time. So then your last read, and that's all the coverage is, is of course, your comeback, user catch. Uh, and usually in this play, I'll read the comeback first. After I see that that guy is not getting pressed, so something like this where he won't get pressed, so I see he doesn't get pressed. Okay, I go to my comeback, and I and I see that I have an option of user catching that. Now the only time that I do throw that, if um, like if I see that my dude doesn't get pressed, if they're in cover four, I won't throw the comeback. Even if they're in cover three, I normally won't throw it. But if they're in something like this, man blitz, throw it every single time, and it's very effective. Okay. So that's what we're doing from levels. Uh, the play action play out of this is play action uh, comebacks, and basically what this is is a three verticals concept. And you're going to see against cover four, you're going to split the safeties here. You see how you split the safeties? And you don't have to send the tight end on a route. You just you just call this play. Now, so that's going to be your cover four and your cover two. That route right there. What about cover three and cover one? So cover three. Normally in cover three, the comeback should be open. I like to cancel the PA too. And... Um, you could throw those comebacks as user catches, like canceling as in like, I like to use the PA, but like I want to get out of it quicker, so I just hold R1 at the snap. Hold R1, so I still get that animation, and you're going to see comebacks are, are usually going to be breaking back to the sideline. Normally will be open against cover three or cover one. Let me show it to you one more time here. There it is. See that basket animation on the sideline? That's going to be man, and that's going to be cover uh, cover three. Cover four and cover two is what we're going to show you right here. That's where that route to triangle comes in. Is He's going to be breaking wide open there. Okay, now if the, if the middle linebacker gets deep, 
then you need to check that. Okay. Now, a lot of times what you'll see me do is if that dude goes with him, I'll just run it. Like, I'll just call it and just say, okay, I'm running. Because you, this is a shot play, guys. This is a, a, a opportunity for you guys to take a shot downfield. If, if it's not open, you need to check down. And obviously, in a cover two, the comebacks are not always going to be open when it's cover two. Well, actually, they are open. But not, not always in the traditional sense. So, see, we can hit the scene there. But say they're cover four. Say cover four, and the middle linebacker just happens to get deep, or he's usering that. So, the, everything's taken away. You take away. I step up, step up, nothing open. Then I either take the sack, or I bail with the quarterback, which means I just run with him. So here, let me show you an example. So cover four, everything's covered. Okay, then I just get out of there. And normally, it's not the best idea to run up the middle in this year's game because of the, of the crap that's going to happen. So you just bail outside the pocket. Just get down, and then go and scramble with your quarterback. Okay, that's what I do out of that. So that's the basics uh, basics of this offense here. Uh, one thing I will do from time to time is mix in the, the, the quick slants. So I'll call the curl, curls HB angle. I'll put my left side receivers on slants. I'll put all my receivers on slants, I'll leave the tight end on the flat route, and I'll just block and release the running back. And we already know, if they don't press triangle, you can throw to him or square, and if they do press triangle, then you throw to circle. Very easy reads from this formation. But all the while mixing in the lovely inside zone play. Just a lot to handle in this offense. So that does it for the, the single back doubles, very similar to the shotgun doubles, with a couple of different concepts to utilize. So thanks for checking out this part of the ebook, guys. And make sure to check out the next video. Uh, I think the next one will be our last video as far as the actual playbook breakdowns. And then we're going to get into some tips as far as offense goes. So thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one.